Hi, welcome to this small tutorial dedicated to the uh, micro mini OSD. So it's a great, great uh, micro size OSD uh, scales, so weights uh, one gram two, if I'm not wrong. And uh, well, it's supporting a great firmware, uh, the MWSD. Actually, uh, there is a version 1.5. So this video is dedicated to how to flash this one into the uh, app mega R chip located in this uh, side of the ship. So basically, uh, since I uh, uh, plan to install such uh, uh, OSD on a very lightweight um, uh, micro quadcopter, I don't install any uh, pine eaters. It's provided, okay, but if you want, if you prefer, you can solder, uh, well, right-handed or uh, straight uh, uh, connector. So uh, the main uh, goal it will uh, be to uh, flash the uh, firmware through the uh, serial interfaces. So the serial interface is located if you take uh, the Atmega uh, ship uh, in this uh, direction will be located on the right side. Okay. So basically, you will need to uh, connect five wire over six. Okay. Well, usually some serial link requires only four, but uh, for uh, the uh, flashing procedure of the MWSD, you will need the fifth one, which is the DTR, okay? So it's very important, because if it's not working, it means that you forgot to uh, plug it. Uh, another point, very important, you will need to use, um, well, uh, a DDI device or uh, a Shoya or Link, uh, 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 well, uh, it's important to use a 5 volt uh, one, okay? So thanks to this uh, uh, Guinean uh, FTDI uh, ship, uh, I can I set the jumper to the 5 volt setting, okay? So it's very important. So what are the pinouts? It's quite easy. So you will need to connect the ground to uh, the uh, ground located uh, completely on the, uh, well, if I can uh, put them in parallel, so completely uh, the ground will be completely on the uh, right uh, hole, okay? Then you will find on the third from the right, you will find the plus five volt in red color wire here. And then after you will find the, uh, if I'm not wrong, the R RX, okay, if I can read uh, well, sorry, the TX from the FDDI, the yellow will go to the TX of the uh, minim, uh, micro minimum SD. Then the four from the FDDI, the orange, the first orange will go to the um, uh, Tags of the uh, of the micro uh, uh, OSD. Then it's very important the last U range completely on the right of the FDDI will be completely on the left uh, hole. This is a DDR. Okay, it's very important to plug it. So when it's done, uh, you will need to install a software if it's not already done. Actually, uh, I use. Uh, you have to download the last Arduino. Okay, so there is a pinout of the. Uh, uh, micro USD. So as I said, you will find uh, here exactly. Okay, you have to rotate it. Okay, you have you have you have to rotate uh, uh, this, uh, and you can find the DDR, which is what I mentioned a uh, few seconds earlier. So we will need to uh, download or use the Arduino. Actually, um, software. Actually, uh, sorry because my. Uh, display got very high resolution so it's scaling down the uh, fonts but uh, actually I'm using the 1.6.5 for uh, Windows 8.1 uh, 64 bytes so the first thing we will, you will have to do is to clear the app from so be check your wire there is no extra connection then you have to plug it into an USB port okay so you will see the red LEDs uh, the blue one and time to time to uh, a green one. Okay, so you will go to the file and uh, well, before that you have to check that the board is the uh, Arduino or Pro Mini here. Then after you will be able to select the processor which is an Atmega 328P uh, uh, to be more precise, working at 5 volt and up to 16 megahertz. Select the right uh, port com of your uh, serial device. For me it's uh, the 15 okay and when it's done you will go to file and you have to go to example and then to EPROM and EPROM clear okay 
So you will uh, run uh, this uh, sketch. So you have to press on the uh, right arrow. It's very small, sorry, in my screen. Uh, so I will press the, uh, the uh, upload button. And after a few instants of loading, flashing, you you will see that you have a solid green light appearing. Okay, so now the apron is clear and the second step is now to uh, uh, load the uh, sketch of the uh, MWSD. Okay, so you will uh, load, okay, open and you will uh, uh, download the last MWSD, so I forgot to mention, so how to to download it, you go to the mwsd.com and go to the uh, this link, and you will find the last version here. Okay, so you uh, unzip the file, and you will find, uh, for example, if I'm not wrong, so okay, uh, this uh, uh, um, this sorry uh, this folder and. Inside this folder or the other one. So inside this one, fw uh, underscore sd, you will find all the Arduino uh, and uh, C, uh, files uh, associated to this uh, firmware. So you will turn to Arduino after that, and you will load this uh, main sketch. So you go to open and you for and you select the main uh, mw underscore osd dot ino. Okay. So before to uh, flash, you will need to adapt uh, the uh, firmware to your uh, uh, target uh, flying controlling board. So you will need to open the uh, config.hatch here, okay? And it's very important you will go to this section here. So by default, it's associated with the multi okay? So uh, if you plan to use clean flight, you will or base flight for me, I will just simply use base flight actually. So I will uncomment the multi Wii and uncomment the base flight. Okay, you will save, control S to save, and after you will be able to flash. So go press on the right arrow to upload. So it will build the project, and you will see that uh, the uh, 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 there is a, a transfer between the Eric Centix of the DDI. So, as you can see, also there is a sub plotting, writing, okay, and checking. And it should be done in a few instants, okay. So is done okay so uh, you can see that the uh, now you have a kind of uh, flashing uh, uh, green leds very fast flashing so uh, the next step is to uh, use the software so you will return to the uh, folder of mwsd so return back and you have to go to the graphic user interface software so uh, it's based on Java. So if you don't have any uh, Java, uh, you will have to download it. Uh, download the last uh, Java uh, um, uh, SA, okay, uh, runtime. Okay, I download the uh, 7U80 for, uh, for my personal case. That should work with any uh, older one. So and then after, since I'm using a 64 bytes system, I will run the mw underscore sd guy dot bat. Okay, so it will run this software. Sorry, it's still pretty uh, small, but in real, uh, it's uh, much bigger. The main important is first to connect to the COM port. So you click, left click on the COM from E15, and you should have some red. Okay, and the connection start to uh, appear here. So the first stage is to select the font here. So you will have several, okay. For example, I will say it's default bold or more this one, uh, okay, default bold. Okay, and when you have this message, you say okay, and then after you have to click on upload here. So it will flash, uh, it will upload in the memory the font, okay, up to 256 if I'm not wrong, okay. And it will take a few instants like this. 
this uh, takes uh, 30 seconds, something like this. Pretty small, sorry for the screen. Okay, it's not done, it's 200, okay, almost finished soon. And uh, okay, very fine. Now it's okay, it's upload. So to be sure, you will now click on read, okay, to see the default values, okay, and nothing is written. So uh, uh, you can, uh, by default, all the information are displayed, okay, so you will have to unselect everything. Uh, I use the uh, small uh, uh, profile in the tutorial video I found on the internet and okay you will have to do uh, open to load sorry so you brought it uh, for me personally it was a little bit uh, here okay inside this one and it's new dot OSD okay you click OK and one is load you write the settings here okay so it's writing okay now it's done I will click now on read to read the setting and now everything is appearing okay so now most of the uh, layout uh, uh, disappear most of the uh, information and displayed disappeared only the basic one for basic FPV for example so personally I will fly with a PAL camera so I will click on PAL and use the metric information so each time you, you modify you will click on write okay so uh, and after you can modify it for example use uh, 3S batteries and so on okay like this I can really see it it's pretty small but you can do like this okay so after you can save any setting. Okay, I hope this video helped you to uh, flash the MWSD on your micro mini OSD, grid uh, uh, OSD as with the grid firmware. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please submit. If you like uh, my channel, please subscribe. Bye bye.